Uh, this is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, the War and Peace Report. As we turn right now to one of the most impassioned speeches at the UN Climate Change Conference today, given just hours ago by the Tuvalu politician Apisai Ilemia. He serves as Minister of Foreign Affairs, Trade, Tourism, Environment, and Labor for the Pacific Island State. Madam President, small island nations, particularly low-lying atolls like Tuvalu, who are surrounded by sea, have always had great hope that the ocean brings prosperity and life. Soon, this will no longer be the case. The ocean is now bringing destruction and is threatening our very existence. Sea level rise could engulf our nation, our entire nation, and therefore erase our rights as a nation and as a sovereign state. But sea level rise is not only our concern. Just before I left to come to this conference, my government had declared a state of emergency because we were suffering the worst drought in recorded history. We got to the stage where we had to import fresh water and to bring in emergency desalination plants. This was a clear warning that we are already suffering from the adverse impact of climate change. Madam President, it is vitally important that the international community take immediate and decisive action to address climate change now, not tomorrow, not in 2015, and definitely not in 2020. Urgency must be the theme of this conference. We have no time to wait, and we are only a few inches from the point of no return. Tuvalu's Minister of Foreign Affairs, Apisai Ilemia. He serves as Minister of Foreign Affairs, Trade, Tourism, Environment, and Labor for the Pacific Island Nation. This is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, the War and Peace Report, as we broadcast live from the UN Climate Change Conference in Durban, South Africa. Back in a minute.